so basically today we are going to discuss about what is strings what is string in php what is the role of string how we can declare and use string in the php so the first one is php string is a sequence of characters ie used to store and manipulate text everything inside code single and double in php is treated as a string for example p is a character and programming in p hp is a string so basically what is string so string is a combination of character as you know that string is a combination of character for example he shows that like here single p is a character but when we combine one or two character two or three more character together then it is called string so here example is p because p is a single character that's why it is called a character but when we write programming in php or programming then it is called string so in the other words we can say that string is a sequence of character okay or sing string is a combination of character is called string so he says that in php in php whenever you write anything in the single quote or in the double quote that is treated as a string okay so the first one is single quoted second one is double quote third one is here doc syntax and the last one is now doc syntax so these are the four type of string which are used in the php basically these are not the type it, it means it is a type of declaration which we used in the php okay so the first one is basically single quote you can also declare your string with the help of single quote also you can use double quote for the string and also here doc syntax is available after that the last one is now doc syntax we are going to you discuss these syntax one by one what is single quote what is double quote what is the role of here doc syntax and what is the working of now doc syntax so this is all about string that basically i am going to tell you one more time that string is a combination of character or a sequence of character combination of a character or a sequence of character is called a string whenever you write anything inside the single quote or double quote in the php that is treated as string okay for example here i previously told you that p is a single character is called a character but whenever we combine two or three character together at that time it is called a string for example here programming in php is a string after that the next one is php string how you can declare php string in the single quote so the first one is this type of string does not process special character inside code so in the single quote whenever you write single quote in the string at that time he says that this type of string does not process special character what it means the special character is for example at the rate or other type of special character hash that is not used in the single quote string okay so the first one is here basically we know that the php programming is embed into the html so first of all we are going to write here html html tag body tag after that this is the section of php okay all the section related to php so here less than question mark php our php will be start after that what is the next step in the next step we are going to declare a variable because we all know that in the php what we use to declare the variable dollar sign so here dollar sign and this is the name of the variable the x and after that this one is assignment operator and after that the value which you want to pass to your variable so this is the syntax or you can say that this is how you can pass the value to a variable and also declare the variable after that echo echo is a keyword which is used for print or display anything in the php like in java we dot we use system dot out dot print ln in c we use print app in python we use print same in the case of php we use echo for print something on the screen so here we write x is dollar x what it means he print he is going to print x is dollar x is going to print this one what it means he treated is like a string he does not pass any value because here the value of the x is 10 but it does not take any value and he act like a string and that's why he printed like x is dollar x 
after that question mark and greater than sign and at the last we are going to close our tag body tag and html tag okay after that the next one is when how we can declare a string in a double quote so unlike single quote string double quote string in php are capable of processing special character but it means it means that unlike single quote string we can declare the variable or the double quote string are capable of processing special character in the single quote we cannot process any special character but in the double quote string we can pass or process any type of special character so first of all here we are going to write html tag body tag and this is a section of php after that less than question mark php and here again we are going to declare the variable dollar x equals to 10 after that semicolon because we know that in every statement in php is going to end with the question oh sorry semicolon okay after that the next one is echo echo is basically used for print something on the screen after that x is dollar x now it is going to take the value of the x what is the value of the x x is 10 so he's going to print that x is 10 so this is the difference between the double quote string and single quote string in the single quote string you cannot pass any special character but in the double quote string you can pass or the, we can process any special character okay this is the main difference bet between the single quote and double quote string now after that the next one is her docs string so this is the syntax of declaring the string after that the syntax of her doc is less than three less than sign is another way to delimit php string and identifier is given after the her doc less than less than less than so basically this is the simple symbol of her doc you have to use three less than sign for declare the her doc string operator after which any text can be written as a new line is started to close the syntax the same identifier is given without any space or tab what it means it means that if we if we want to print anything on the screen with the help of php and we want that the first name will become on the first line and after that the second name will become on the second line after that city will become on the third line so what we use we use here doc syntax here doc syntax the syntax of the here doc is three or triple less than sign so here doc syntax is similar to the double quoted string with the quotes so now we are going to discuss the here doc syntax basically the first one is first of all you have to use the html tag because we know that php is embedded with the html after first of all html tag after that we are going to use body tag next this is a section of php here we are going to declare a variable in the variable with the here doc syntax so here three less than sign will become demo doc after that text written using here doc format br php programming br php server side scripting language demo doc eco input eco dollar input question mark greater than sign so this is the syntax of using here doc syntax in the php basically it is used to an identifier is given after the here doc operator what it means it means that after which any text can be started written as the new line so basically here doc is basically used for the print the string okay so this is the syntax okay with the help of that syntax you can use so this is the output whenever we are going to run this program after that the next one is php string now doc the first one is here doc and the second one is now doc now doc is similar to the here doc but in now doc parsing is not done it is also identified with three less than symbol basically he says that now doc is basically similar to the here doc but the major difference or the main difference is that in the here doc the parsing is done but in the now doc the parsing is not possible parsing means we are going to pass any value but 
and then here dot you can pass any value but in the now dot you cannot pass any value it is also he says that the symbol of the now dot is similar to the here dot we are also using three less than symbol for now dot but here identifier is enclosed in single quote he says that in the now dot we are also using three less than symbol but we also have to use the single quote sign after that now dog follows the same rule as here dog the difference between now dog and here dog is that now dog is single quoted whereas here dog is a double quoted string so he says that the main difference between the now dog and here dog is that in the, in now dog we use single quoted string but in the here dog we are using double quoted string so this is the difference between the here dog and now dog the syntax of declaring or using the here dog and now dog is similar in now dog we also uses three less than symbol and in here dog we also uses three less than symbol after that this is the usage of here dog now dog so basically html body so this is the section of the php here what we use dollar input equals to three less than symbol and a test now dog it is a testing program with, in which we are going to test the now dog basically here we are going to declare a variable because you know that in php whenever you want to declare any variable it is declared with the help of dollar sign okay after that these are the line few lines which we are going to print okay after that test now dog because in this we are going to test now dog after that echo dollar input so but he print he print test now dog or all these line after that the next one is directly printing string without any variable but it means it means that echo dollar input basically is used for if we want directly any string we are going to print any string directly but we cannot use any variable at that time we are going to use echo dollar input after that echo the now dog we are going to here declare now dog with the three less than sign after that break tag will be closed here break tag will be open and here break tag will be closed after that programming in php and php is a server side scripting language now dog question mark and greater than body html so this is how you can use the now dog in your php basically it is also used for print the string or declare any string the difference is that in now dog you are going to use single quote and in here dog you are going to use double quote so this is a major difference after that the next one is as printer function what it means it means that the as printer function in php is used to write a formatted string to a variable and it returns a formatted string so he says that the is the as printer function is basically used whenever we want to write a formatted string to a variable and it returns a formatted string the syntax of the as printf is as printf after that format argument 1 argument 2 and argument 3 so this is the use of as printf this is how you can use it after that the next one is now here i am going to elaborate the syntax of the as printf the first one is format basically format is required this parameter specifies the string and how the how to format the variables at basically format is that in this in the format we are going to specify the string that which type of string we are using and how to format the variables in it but it means we are going to format how we can use variable for that type of string for example percentage d percentage c etc after that argument required this parameter represent the value to be inserted at the first percentage sign in the format string it means that we are going to this parameter argument 1 but it means that we are going to represent any character or any value after that argument 3 is optional you have 
if you want to use third argument it is up to you if you don't want to use any uh, third argument then you can't use you can use argument only one it is up to you after that the next one is as printf function so this is the working of as printf function basically here we are declaring html body and this is the section where we are declaring a variable dollar val equals to 299 after that echo val dot dr after that here what will be print the print is 299 and after that dollar text equals to as printf percentage f and comma and dollar val what it means it means that it is going to show the value because we have declare here declare a format because we have want that the format in print is used because as printf in the as printf what is the syntax of as printf first of all you have to declare the format and that in which format you want to print your value after that the next thing is you have to declare the value or argument so here this is the format and this is the value which we want to print okay so this is how you can use as printf function in the php after that the next thing is formatted string for storage formatted string use format specifier to create the basic structure of the string format specifiers are predefined character sequence that can be used to define the data type to be stored or displayed as well a uh, how any given value should be formatted ie precision and padding etc so basically what is format string format string basically use format specifier it uses format specifier for for which purpose with the help of format specifier we create the basic structure of the string we can create the basic structure of the string format specifier basically a predefined character sequence but it means the format specifier are predefined you just are going to use it you cannot change anything in the format specifier it is a predefined character you just have to use it according to your need because okay format specifier are predefined character sequence that can be used to define the data type what it means it means that format specifier are predefined character sequence you can't change in it and you you are going to use it and also you are going to define the data type that which type of data is stored in the string and which type of data is going to be displayed so this is the working of the formatted string after that the next thing is formatting value sign specifier can be used to possibly display the sign minus or plus to be used on a number by default only the minus sign is displayed on negative number using the specified positive number are shown with the preceding positive sign this can be achieved using a positive symbol and can be implemented only upon numeric value so basically he says that formatting value means in spe sign specifier we are using negative sign and positive sign for a u for a number if we are going to use a number then we are using negative sign and positive sign if the number is in negative then we use negative sign and if the number is positive then we use positive sign okay so here here is an example which is percentage d plus d what it means it means that it is going to show the output with positive number after that the next one is padding specifier padding specifier can be used to specify what characters will be used for padding the result to any defined string size by default spaces are used as padding an alternate padding character can be specified by prefixing it with a single quote or single quote so what it means it means that the difference between padding specifier and sign specifier is that the padding specifier use specify what character will be used padding specifier basically clear you that which type of character and what type of character you can use for padding the result of any defined string for example you are going to 
declare any string or define any string after that you want to know that that what are what are character you are using in the string so that is possible with the help of padding specifier so this is how you can use the padding specifier percentage after that because here we declare that we are going to use the padding specifier with the help of single quote okay so this is how percentage sign single quote zero d and after that slashes pad with zeros to achieve the right length what it means it means that we are going to declare the padding specifier or use the padding specifier with the help of single quote he says that by default spaces are used as padding it means that if we are use any space then it is by default the space will be taken by the string after that the next one is example example is so here html tag body tag and after that this is our php section so here we are declaring the number 1 after that we are declaring number 2 the value of number 1 is 934 and the value of number 2 is 45 so here we are using printf as printf because you know that in the as printf you have to first of all you have to define the format of the string after that the next step is you have to declare the argument it is up to you that which how many arguments you have used but you have to use at least one argument so here what we write we write dollar number 1 equals to as print f and after that percentage here we are using padding padding for the because in the previous slide we are using padding specifier so this slide is related with the padding specifier so whenever we are going to run this program after that we are going to print these number in the new line first of all the number 1 will be print after that the number 2 will be print so this is the output of the this code okay so this is how you can use padding specifier after that the next one is alignment specifier alignment specifier is basically used for aligning the result alignment specifier can be used to align the specify the alignment of the result i e whether left justified or right justified it is up to you that in which alignment you want your result you want your result in left justified or you want that your result will become in the left side or you want that your result will become on the right side it is up to you by default is right justified he says that whenever we run any program then it is by default is a right justified okay using a character makes it left justified example dollar minus s slash is specify the alignment as less left justified he says that whenever we use this syntax then it is used for left justified after that the next one is with specifier with specifier basically we are used to specify the minimum number of characters to be present in the result itself it can be specified using any number denoting the minimum bit it is seen in use with padding specifier is most basically what is the use of its with specifier with specifier is basically used to specify how the minimum number of characters are present in the result how minimum numbers are denoting what is the role of with specifier it is used for padding the specifier most okay so this is how you can use the padding or with specifier so this is the result when we run this program in the with specifier the alignment specifier first of all we are going to use the html here html tag after that body tag and this is our php section it will clear you when you do it practical okay so after that the here the php section less than question mark php after that dollar str equals to books so this is the variable which we are declare basically you can say that it is variable or string okay after that you are declaring variable or string after that what is the next step the next step is we are going to 
print it as printf because you know that in the as printf first of all you have to declare the format that which type of format you want after that the next step is you have to declare the argument okay after that we are going to declare echo dollar text what it means it means that we are going to print our books so here because we are going to because it is by default it means that it is come into the right side because in this we told that by default is a it is a right justified what it means whenever you run this program it is by default come on the right side and if you use this one dollar minus s then it will come on the left side okay so this is how you can align the text of your string it is up to you that in which form in which side you want if you want on the right side then it is by default and if you want on the left side then it is a code which you have to write okay so this is how you can e print the decimal value first of all you have to use the html after that body tag after that the next one is you have to declare the variable or here i declare the value dollar val 225.36 so what it means it means that here we are going to round off the value here we are declaring format our cell and round off the value that's why here 25.369 the result of 25.369 will be 25.37 so here we are again using as printf first of all the format of the string after that the next one is the argument one which we pass so this is related with the round off after that the next one is various function using in php this is one of the most important topic that how you can use php string function so the first one is string length so basically you know that why you use string length in because it returns you the length of the string that how many characters are in your string for example i am taking the example of my name i am my name is sahil so what is the character of the string sahil if we i if i want to know the length of the st string sahil then it is s a h i l then the length of the string is 5 so basically php string length function return the length of a string that how many character your string will contain after that return value return the length of a string in bytes on success and zero if the string is empty he says that if you if there is a five character in your string then it will re return you five character and if there is a no character in your string then it will return you zero what it means it means that if our string is empty there is no character it will return us zero after that the next one is this is the practical of our finding the length of our string so first of all we have to use the html tag body tag after that the next one is less than question mark php so here we write echo and this is our function in which we are going to find the length of our string that how many characters are present in our string okay after that we are going to pass the value of the string which is hello so how many characters are in the hello h e l l o 1 2 3 4 5 so what it return it return as the result 5 it means that there is a five character in our string hello so this is how you can find the length of any string okay first of all you have to write the echo function because echo is used to print something on the screen echo after that string length function str len str len function is basically used for find the length of the string after that the value or the string value which you want to know the uh, length after that the question mark and greater than sign so here the php section will be closed and at last we are going to close our body tag and html tag so it will return as that there is a five character is present in our string so this is how or this is the method with the help of this strlen method you can find the length of your string 
after that the next step is str word count but it means we have we want to count the word in our string that how many words in our string word means for example my name is sahil so how many words in our string my one name two is three sahil four so there is a four words in a string my name is sahil string contain four words okay after that the php str underscore word underscore count function counts the number of words in a string so basically he says that if you want to count the number or count the word in your string then what you have to use you have to use string under str underscore word underscore count function so how we can use it we are going to use it with the help of first of all we have to use the html tag after that body tag the next step is we have to use the php so here our php section will become less than question mark php after that echo echo function will become in the next function is str underscore word underscore count function which helps us in count the number of words in a string how many numbers how many words are present in our string so here i declare or pass the value which is first second third so what it returns it returns that there is total three word in our string after that the next thing is question mark and greater than sign will be come after that the next one is slash body and slash html this is how you can find the word in your string or count the word in your string it is up to you that how basically this is the method str underscore word underscore count this is the method that you can use to count the word in a string that how many number of string your string contain with the help of this method you can find it easily okay str underscore word underscore count first of all echo keyword will become after that the function str word underscore count and after that the string which you have used or the string which you want to use now the number in your string or word in your string after that the next thing is str reverse the str rev function is basically used for reverse a string okay if you want to reverse the value of the string then what you have to use you can use str rev string reverse function is basically used for reverse the value of the string okay so the first one is html tag after that body tag so this is our main section which is related with our php less than question mark php so basically this is the syntax of the php okay less than question mark php after that the statement which you have used after that question mark and greater than sign so here first of all we are going to write echo keyword firstly we have write echo keyword then our next function so here the our function will become so which function we have used we have used uh, str rev string reverse function str rev and after that the value which you want to reverse or the string which you want to reverse or opposite okay so my value is string so what will the result the result is g n i r t s this is the working of the string reverse function it is going to reverse the value of the original string after that the next thing is string compare function basically string compare function is used to compare the value of two string whenever you want to compare the value of two string at that time you are going to use string and compare function so str and compare is an inbuilt function in php which is used to compare first and character of two string this function is case sensitive which point that capital and small cases will be treated differently during comparison so basically whenever you want to compare the character between the two string at that time str and cmp function will be used so he says that it is case sensitive so whenever you use str and cmp function at that time you have to be very careful about the word okay 
because it is case sensitive this function compare two string with first and character and tells whether the first string is greater or smaller or equal to the second string it means that it is going to take it is going to compare the string with the first character of the string it is comparing the string with the first character so this is how we are going to compare those the syntax of the string compare function is strn cmp first of all the function will become after that the string one will become after that the string two will become and here the length of the string will become so this is how you can compare the two string so now we are going to discuss string compare function the practical of string compare function in previous slide i told you that the string compare function is basically used to compare the two slides or two string okay so here this is the same text plus less than question mark php echo so here the the function will become the name of the function is string compare strn cmp after that we are going to declare two string hello hello and five okay after that we are going to use break tag and because we are going to compare two string with together each other so we need to define two various string here echo strn cmp after that hello hello six because in previous slide i told you that you have to use a proper alphabetical order because the strn cmp string compare function is case sensitive if you are using the first letter is capital or small then it will reflect you okay so here this is how it is going to the compare the two string and after that it is going to result 0 and minus 32 so this is how we can compare the two string after that the next one is string split but it means it means that if we want to split any string for that str underscore split function is used the str underscore split is an inbuilt function in php and is used to convert the given string into an array this function basically splits the given string into smaller string of length specified by the user and stores them in an array and it returns the array so basically the split str split function is basically used for split the two string okay and that we are going to use the array okay after that the syntax is array str underscore split and after that dollar org underscore string after that dollar splitting underscore length so this is the syntax of the split the two string after that the what is org underscore string it is mandatory basically it refers the original string that the user need to split into an array the org underscore string is mandatory you have to use it because it define original string that the user need to split into an array after that the next thing is splitting underscore length this refers to the length of each array element we wish to split our string into by default the function accept the value as one the org underscore string is mandatory is it, it is important but the splitting underscore length or the second or function is optional you can choose it according to your need after that this is the function this is how we can split the two string into an array so here first of all we are going to declare a string the name of the string is str ing string in capital letter after that the next one is since second argument is not passed string is split into sub string size of 1 so he says that here only one argument is passed the second argument is not passed so what it takes it takes sub string size 1 after that print underscore r str underscore split dollar string echo br br after that dollar string string to be split so here in this we are going to split our string divide or conquer our string and after that we are going to place that string in an array okay so this is how we can split the string and also we are going to place it into an array so here array 0 so this is our first string 
in the zero location because you always know that the array is always start from zero. Zero. The index value of array is always start from the zero. So here z at the zero location, the s will become. After that, one, two. So this is how up to so on it will be going on. After that, the next one is. strpos but it means search for a text within a string if you want to search any text in a string at that time you are going to use strpos function this function basically helps you to find the position of the first occurrence of a string in another string this returns an integer value of the position in first occurrence of the string this function is basically used is case sensitive which is mean it treat upper case and lower case character differently so basically whenever you find we want to find or search any character from your string at that time you are going to use strpos function pos basically stand for position basically he says that strpos function is also a case sensitive so whenever you write upper case and lower case character then it will treat it as differently so this is the syntax strpos after that original string and the character you want to string or the string you want to search after that start underscore position so basically original string is mandatory it is basically the original string which you want to pass after that search string it is up to you that you want to pass search anything or not after that the start underscore position is also optional refer to the position of the string from where the search must begin basically it define you that from where the search will be started after that this is the example so basically this is how we can search any string within a string basically echo str post search a string from the string ch so what it returns, it returns that four from our searching result. After that, the next one is if we want to replace any string with another string, at that time we are going to use string underscore replace function or str underscore replace function. Basically, it is a inbuilt function that we are going to use. So, what is the syntax? The syntax is first of all, str underscore replace will become after that search value dollar search value basically the search value is basically it is the parameter that can be both string and array type this parameter specified the string to be search and replace after that the next thing is replace well so what it is it is the parameter can be of both string and array types this parameter basically specifies the string with which we want to replace the search string after that subject val basically it also accept both string and array after that it is specify the string of array of string which we want to search for dollar search val and replace with replace val at last we are going to use count we want to count how many number of replacement are available okay after that the next one is this is a program which we can use First of all, we are going to input a string dollar subject well. This is the name of our variable. After that, the value we are passing. It was nice meeting you. May you bright shine. After that, using string underscore replace function. So this is our string underscore replace function. str underscore replace you him subject well. So what it replaced? It replaced you with the him. You and him will be replaced. So you replace with the him so it was nice meeting him but here we write we have right it was nice meeting you but here because we are replacing you with the him so here the result is it was nice meeting him may him bright shine so that at the two places the result the you will be replaced with the him so this is how you can replace the string with another string after that the next one is php string to upper function the string to upper function is used to convert string into uppercase this function take a string as parameter and convert all the lowercase english alphabet present into the string to uppercase basically 
the string uppercase function is basically used for if you write any character any in the all string in the lower case at that time the string uppercase function will be used it calls it convert the lower case character into uppercase character okay the syntax is string str upper and here the string so this is how we can use the string upper function so here we have to declare the string dollar str equals to php programming 889 we want to convert the this lower case string into upper case so here what we write dollar res str equals to string to upper dollar string but it means we want that the this string or this variable string is going to convert into upper case so here this is the function after that we are going to print the function print the result so here it is going to convert php programming 889 into capital it is convert lower case into case into capital case after that the last one is string to lower what it means it means that the string lower function is basically used for convert the upper case string into lower case it is the opposite of the string upper function or str to upper function basically it convert the upper case character into lower case character so this is the same syntax first of all you are going to declare a variable or string the name of the string is php programming 889 after that here we are declaring the function str to lower and here we are passing our string and echo and this is our, here we are going to print the result so it convert the upper case string into lower case so this is how you can use different type of string and the method of the string so this is all about today's lecture thank